Hello techies, welcome to my video series Microsoft Power Automate. This is module 2, sign up and sign in for Microsoft Power Automate. In this module, we will learn how to sign up and sign in for Microsoft Power Automate. Along with that, we will see once again a tour to Microsoft Power Automate. First of all, we will see how to sign up and sign in for Microsoft Power Automate. It is very simple process to sign up and sign in into Microsoft Power Automate. Starting with Power Automate as an individual is very easy. If you have ever used Microsoft products, online products, you can use the same email address to log in into the http slash flow.microsoft.com. If you have not used any online Microsoft products, you need to take a few moments to register it. Let me switch to Google Chrome. Please use the URL http slash flow.microsoft.com. If you see over here on my URL that I have given already flow.microsoft.com. Let's click on enter. Once you have entered flow.microsoft.com, it will redirect to us.flow.microsoft.com slash en hyphen us. This is, you know, the English page, but it will automatically redirect to the page which you have already logged in. Now, there are two options you will find it. One is sign in and sign up for free. If you have not used any other online Microsoft products, first of all, you need to sign up over here. If you see over here, you will find sign up for free. Okay, what is the requirement to sign up for free? You need valid email address, okay? Nothing but for an example, you, you may have live.com or else you may have gmail.com or else you may have yahoo.com. Okay, but if you are using any common or any general email IDs, except the corporate email IDs, you will have the limited access for the Microsoft Power Automate. If you are using any corporate, then you will have corporate or you know work related email IDs. Let us assume if you are working in Accenture, uh, then you know you will have at the rate of Accenture.com. If you are working for TCS, at the rate of TCS.com. If you are working for the Microsoft, at the rate of Microsoft.com. That is called you know corporate email IDs or work email IDs. If you have this kind of email IDs, you will have the full access. Let me show you that. First, click on the sign up for free. Once you have clicked sign up for free, you will get, you know, uh, this kind of pop up over here or the tab, you will find it. Please provide whatever the email ID that you have. So I'm just giving some email IDs, you know, which already I'm having. Once you are going to give in this email ID and just click on the arrow bar that is on the right hand side. So once you have entered, you have entered a personal email ID. If you use a work or, you know, school email, instead you will be able to use Premier Connectors and Organization features. This is where, you know, I'm using right now my personal email ID. So that uh, if you have any corporate email ID or the work email ID or the school email ID, you will have, you will be able to use, uh, you know, Premium Connectors and Organization features. But right now, I'm using the same thing to show you how to sign up. I'm continuing with this email ID. You will get a screen like, you know, sign in. So you will find the error that that Microsoft account doesn't exist. Enter a different account or get a new one. Okay. So if I want to create a new one on this thing, correct? So that what I will do, I will go for the create one. Click on that. And you will find, you know, it is trying to create an account in Microsoft. Looks like you don't have an account with us. We'll create one for you using this email ID. Click on next. And it will ask you create a password. Okay. Whatever the password, if you want to give it, you can give the password. And it will ask you to give what's your name. I'm just giving my name. And then I'm giving my last name. And then I'm going to click on next. I'm just giving my details. I'm just giving the sample details over here. And then click on next. I'm just, don't forget to give the region also. It is very important based on the reasons also. You will get a lot of features. Okay. And I'm going to click on next. 
once you click on next you will get a verify email address so what are the email id you have provided you will get a security code to that email address that's why you have to provide a valid you know email address i already got it uh, you know my security code to my email id i'm just clicking on no i'm just providing the security code and then i'm going to agreeing i would like to inform on tips about the microsoft products and services if you don't require you can uncheck it and then i'm going to click on next so it will start creating an account for you it will ask the you know to enter the characters please provide the characters over there whatever you have on your screen and then click on next it will take a little bit time to you know create an account in the microsoft so you will find these kind of details once you have uh, sign up successfully that you can see on the screen like that you know your details and if you want edit even profile you can go ahead and you can add it profile picture and if you have any subscriptions you will get a free subscriptions over here try office 365 for free for this thing and the family devices payment and billing these are the options which it is going to be providing sign up has been successfully completed now we want to sign in so what is the url flow.microsoft.com uh, microsoft that is the url that i am going to provide now if you see over here there is the option sign in whatever the email id that you have given when you click on the sign in it will ask the details of the username and the password which you have given once you click on sign in you will get you know a page like this a pop up window like this and you have to provide your email id which you have given previously while signing up okay i'm giving the same email id which i have given and then click on next so you are already in the session you know normally if you are not in the session then it will ask the username and the password but if you have already in the session then it will goes directly to the you know microsoft uh, to the flow.microsoft.com this is the same page you will get it when you are going to be signing into the flow.microsoft.com it will give you a welcome to power automate and choose your country for the region i'm selecting the region which i am which i am i'm selecting the country or region india and then i will say get start as i said previous in the previous session once when you sign in into microsoft power automate you will find these menus on your left hand side one is home action items my flows create templates connectors data ai builder but what is the difference for the you know individual email id or the personal email id and corporate email id or work email id so when you expand the action items you will find approvals and business process correct let me click on the approvals if you click on the approvals you will find it out premium account required you you can't get it all the features for the personal email id so for the premium account what you need to get it worker school email id or by creating a new organization email id you will find it you will get it all these features which we are having okay click on okay and these kind of features you know lot of features you won't get it when you have you know personal email id that's the reason you no know, better to log in with your corporate email id or work email id fine now i will explain you i will go through Uh, you know once again a two to power automate so on the left hand side you will find action items under action items you will find approvals and business process flows what is the purpose of these things action items where you can manage approvals and business process flows by using action items over here so next one my flows so this is the flows where you will reside you know you will have more than 200 templates you will find it over here and also you can what are the templates you have been created by using create template you will find all these templates over here which you have been created as part of create template next one templates as i said 
there are more than 200 plus templates are available to make your work easy. Let's assume if I'm going to work with Twitter, I will just provide Twitter over here and then click on enter in the search that you will find all the related Twitter related templates over here. You can see there's a hundreds of templates are available for each and everything. Next one connectors. Connectors formally called as services. These are all the services which are providing by the Microsoft. You can see Office 365, OneDrive for business, Office 365 users, SharePoint and all these things. And also you can connect to the external. Okay, so where you can connect from one service to another service, so you are going to use the connectors. Now data. Data having entities, connections, custom connectors, gateways. These where you can access entities, connections, customer, uh, custom connectors and gateways by using this data. Another one, AI builders. If you expand that you will have build and modules where you are having AI related entities over here. And learn, you know, if you have to learn anything from the Microsoft PowerPoint, you can go ahead and you can learn it from the uh, Microsoft documents. And if you see on the topmost, I, when I'm clicking on the my user details, you will find all the details and the environments also, what kind of environment that you have. With the normal, uh, uh, you know, with the personal email ID, you will find default environment whenever you will get it. And if you see the settings, when you click on the settings, how many times you ran in this month out of zero to 750, you will have the, you know, maximum of 750 runs that you can use it. I will show you what are the runs when you have created these flows that you will find it out, okay? And you can see the flows, connections, custom connectors, and also settings that you will find it all these things. Okay, and after that, you will see a bell icon over here. When you click on that, if you have any notification, you will get it automatically. And if you see, there's a smile symbol. If you want to provide any feedback, that you can provide feedback to the Microsoft, that, you know, whatever the feedback that you have, that you can provide it and click on submit. In the next module, we will learn how to create a flow using Microsoft Power Automate. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. Thank you for watching Microsoft Power Automate tutorials. If you want to learn about the another uh, RPA tools like Blue Prism, UiPath, Automation Anywhere tutorials, please go through youtube.com slash learning technologies. You will find more about the other RPA tools also. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye, have a nice day.